Hey YouTube, this is Fat Ass Fam. I told you I would be back. <laughs> so, I know it's, it's been a minute. Like, my computer crashed. Somebody hacked my computer. There's so much bow going on over here. You have no idea. Anywho, I'm back. I know you miss me. I miss you. <laughs> so, this topic is about, I have a couple of topics. This topic is about truth and realness, appearances, and yes, I write this stuff down. Oh, that was me going off on somebody. I'm not even going to read that yet. Anywho, I'm going to start the topic. So... This is my thing. What do y'all think? If you have to tell the truth, it's still a lie, right? If you tell this person one thing and tell the other person something else, it's still a lie. So, why go around saying I'm real, I'm 100, I tell the truth? When you do shady shit like that. You feel me? So, just don't use it. Like, it don't even make sense. Just don't use it. But, that goes into the topic that I'm talking about. As far as being real and being truthful with yourself and those that you, those that surround you and that are in your circle why do people put up appearances you know appearances burn me up because it's like why are you putting on an act why are you putting up this appearance be yourself live your life for you not for what people think or what people might think of you who gives a damn be happy live do you you know i, I hate I know so many people that has this facade up or appearance, whatever you want to call it. Why do people put up appearances? You want to make it seem like, like it's this, but it's not. You want to, um, or you very well might want to give the illusion, you know, that it's something else. However you want to name it, however you want to explain it, it's called an appearance. Why must you put up appearances? Prime example, you not together, but nothing has changed. But you want to give the appearance to everybody else that you together. Hmm, that's stupid. Um... Or, I don't want my family to know that I'm in the life and, oh my God, I don't know what they might, might say. Oh my God, I don't know. Like, I can understand to a certain point if it's, if it's for your job. I don't know. That's a touchy subject, too. It really is. It's a touchy subject. But, I don't know. <laughs> I, I I don't know Like I, I just Those are two Well two or three things that just like Piss me off You know people that claim they real And they this and they that And they have to tell the damn truth And the other part is The whole damn appearance is putting up a front Stop putting up a front Bitch if you got two dollars You got two dollars You ain't got You don't have a hundred dollars You don't have a hundred dollars Okay, like, if you plain Jane, you plain Jane. If you want people to make it seem like that you you glamorous and you this and you that, stop. Just stop. You're not being yourself. If anything, be yourself. And as I always say, love yourself, respect yourself. Because if you don't, nobody else will. And then when it all boils down to it, What's done in the dark will come to the light. So all these appearances and lies that you run around saying and doing, it's going to come to the light. And who's going to look stupid? 
you are. You're going to look stupid, fake, and nobody is going to want to be around you because you're just a horrible person. Anywho, next topic. It's a difference between being in love with somebody and being dumb. Y'all didn't think I was going to tell you. Yeah, yes, I said it. Yes, I did. It's a difference in being in love and being dumb. And um, I think I'm going to leave that topic at that. Or I might just come back with the whole being in love and being dumb. Common sense. I'm going to need people to use it. Mm-mm-mm. Anywho, I'm just rambling now. I don't really have nothing to say. Look what I got. I had, I have. I had. See, I said got. Ghetto. Did I not do a talk about ghetto on this? Anywho, look what I have. Let me see. Where's the camera? Yay, it makes noise. I have two gifts from Mexico. It was so sweet. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going on and on. I guess because I missed you all, like I said, and I really don't have anything to say. I have some things written down, but I'm so unorganized right now, which is so unlike unlike me because you know, or well, you don't know, but I'm telling you, I'm a very organized and detailed person, and I hate a mess. I hate it. I like get OCD, and I want it fixed and neat and done. But, um, I have a bunch of topics that I need to go through. And, you know, I don't edit anything. You get it pure, raw, uncut. It, it is what it is. But, as soon as I go through this book of things that, I, that came to my mind and I wrote them down. So, when I come back to you, I can tell you what's on my mind. Point blank and simple. Uncut. But it's with a dose of sugar because I'm sweet. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, I've been rambling for like eight minutes and you're still sitting here listening to me ramble. Hey, I don't know. But love yourself, respect yourself. Because if you don't, nobody else will. Be good, doll babies and teddy bears. Be good to yourself. Go out. Get a manicure. Get a pedicure. Spend time with yourself. You don't need anybody. Do it. Hurry up. Okay? Bye. Peace.